dreams. Nothing more than outside stimuli playing out in the, the theatre of the sleeping mind. Or so believed philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche. Or perhaps dreams are, as Freud believed, a communication of our will, our desires. A manifestation of our deep subconscious. But what of nightmares? Some would say they serve an evolutionary purpose, a survival mechanism. Our minds planning escape from our everyday anxieties. But perhaps not. Perhaps they are the influence of an external, malevolent force, timeless, ageless. Take being chased. Is it really your subconscious telling you to run from your problems? Or is it the nightmare itself preying upon you, drawing its strength from your weakness? And in an instant you are trapped, the nightmare holding you down, stopping you from finding a solution, as evolution would have intended. And then suddenly you're falling, as nightmares never work alone, faster and faster in fits of terror, and then... In the blink of an eye, you're back in your childhood classroom. It feels so familiar, yet warped, like your childhood memories dipped in a fairground mirror. And there's this tight knot in your stomach, an uneasy feeling. It feels so wrong, yet so real. Because when you wake, breathing hard and dripping at a cold sweat, the feeling remains. The nightmares have crossed into the physical world. Every time we turn a dark corner or reach blindly under the bed, they have us wonder, is there someone, something behind me? Nightmares will affect us in ways we can't even begin to explain, and yet we may not even remember them. But they will remember you. And they will return. Good night, and sleep tight.